Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us recognize our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, Move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Please stand.
Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Heavenly Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. To live, not only to exist. Ang mabuhay ay hindi lang ang pagiging nandyan. Hindi lahat ng nag-e-exist ay, quote-unquote, buhay. Baka present and visibly na nandyan lang, pero hindi naman talaga na ma-maximize ang buhay. Question now, kumusta ka? Kumusta ang iyong buhay? May patutunguhan ba? How do I live my life to the fullest potential? Baka minimum lang or worse, hindi ako nararamdaman. May epekto ba akong dinudulot sa iba, particularly good influence? May direction ba ang aking buhay? Baka kasi sinasayang ko lang ang mundo, ang buhay ko, sa makamundong dulot ng pera, palakpak at posisyon, at nabubuhay ng walang pakyalam sa mundo. My friends, my sisters, and my brothers, hindi sapat na tayo'y humihinga lamang. Dapat tayong nabubuhay ng may buhay. I remember the words of St. Irenaeus. He said, The glory of God is when the humanity is fully alive. I repeat, The glory of God is when the humanity is fully alive. My friends, my sisters, and my brothers, do not go through life an autopilot. Live your life with presentation. Do not be cut and dried. Do not just be functional. Do not be a get-this-day-over-with person. 
Open yourself with the rich blessings that God pours onto you at every moment of life. Live with passion. Mabuhay ng may alab. Give value to yourself. Put a little garnish. Have some style. Create ambience in your life. Be a five-star. Sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, ito ang binibigyang diin. Ang mabuhay is not only simply to exist, but rather to be the salt and the light of the world. Asin. Ang asin ay maganda, mahalaga, lalong-lalo na sa pagluluto dahil ito ay nagbibigay lasa sa pagkain. Sabi nga nila, kapag ang sa pagkain ay walang lasa, walang kwenta. Kaya nga naglalagay tayo ng asin para magkalasa. Ganito din dapat ang buhay. Pinapaalalahanan tayo ng ating Panginoong Hesus na magbigay tayo ng lasa sa ating buhay. Hindi pwedeng kristyano lamang tayo sa pangalan. Dapat may good impact ito. Dapat nararamdaman. Tandaan natin ang panalangin binitawan nung tayo ay bininyagan na maging kabahagi ni Kristo sa pagiging hari, pari, at propeta. At kung ating ginagawa ito, tunay ngang may buhay ang buhay. And wait, hindi lang asin. Hinahamon din tayong maging ilaw. And being light is not only contained to oneself. Hindi sinasarili, kundi binabahagi. Sabi nga ng ating Ebanghelyo, Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. Hindi tinatago. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others. Hinahamon tayong maging liwanag. Ibahagi natin ang liwanag. Dapat ang liwanag ay kumakalat. Naalala ko tuloy yung isang kanta sa karismatik. Kung naniniwala tayo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, kung ito ang tunay nating nararamdaman, dapat nating itong bahag, ibahagi. Sabi nga, Love is something that you give it away. You give it away. Mangyayari ito kung tayo ay magiging liwanag. My friends, My sisters and my brothers, ipinapahiwatig ng dalawang hamon na dapat ang bawat kristyano ay maging mabuting balita sa isa't isa. At ang maging mabuting balita is not only simply to exist, but to live and share Jesus to others with dignity and holiness gamitin ng talino, talento, oras upang lalo nating maipalaganap ang mabuting balita. Ikaw man ay nagtatrabaho, nag-aaral, at kahit nasa bahay, maaring maging buhay na saksi ni Kristo sa pagiging asin at ilaw ng mundo. And this will be our point for reflection. Alam niyo po, bilang isang pari, ang dami ko nang nakausap, iba't ibang klaseng edad. 
Pero merong isa na lumapit sa akin, medyo may katandaan na. At hindi ko makakalimutan ang kanyang sinabi. Sabi niya, Alam niyo, Father, kung bata lang ako, sana ginawa ko na ito. Sana minaximize ko kung anong meron ako. Sana, sana, sana. One thing for sure, my friends, kapag lumipas na ang panahon, lumipas na. At mahirap mabuhay sa regrets. Hanggang may panahon pa, the challenge remains. Be the salt and light of the world. We pause for a while for silent reflection. Please stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our mission of being the light and salt of the world. For every prayer, let our response be, Lord, God of goodness, sustain us. God of goodness, sustain us. That the church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That the brilliance of the gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the development of peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That we, called to be salt and light of the world, may become a source of hope and comfort to our fellow men. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ through the ministry of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That eternal light may shine on the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us shine in their sight so that they may praise your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you through all the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of her church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Body of Christ
Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us. We pray from doing what evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, before we conclude the Mass, nagpapasalamat po ako unang-una kay Father Reggie for allowing us to celebrate the Mass with you. I am Father Ramil Tapang, a member of the Society of St. Paul. And last year, from Manila, I was transferred to Cabanatuan City because of the request of Bishop Bangkun. And kasama ko po ang mga kabataan ng Cabanatuan kasi mamimili lang po kami ng mga gamit dyan sa Divisoria. And my friends, I just want to share to you, ang mga kabataan na kasama ko po ay masasabi ko pong sila ay asin at liwanag ng simbahan dahil sa kanilang murang edad, they are a living inspiration to us. And we pray for all the youth and one another to always be the light and salt of the earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go.